My name is Ethan Ash and I'm from the YMCA and I'd just like to ask you a few questions. Can I please have your name? My name is Daniel Cagney. And we'd just like to ask you how your perspective as a rescuer differs from the perspective of people watching these tragic stories on the news from their homes? So, um, it's, a, it's a really good question because I think it's a very interesting point about this situation. Um, I'm part of a governmental body response to the situation down the Mediterranean Sea and the difference between someone who's been down there and someone who's seeing it in media or seeing it in reports is the fact that there's a very strong emotional connection with people who are who are being rescued um, the noises the smells the I spoke about the sense of urgency and um, people feel you can hear panic you can hear uh, the confusion in people's voices and that really fuels the situation and, and it really makes time seems to fly by when you're on these uh, rescues because you're trying to respond as quickly as possible, but you're trying to respond, as I said, professionally. Um, and being there and being on the cold face and seeing people, you know, who are in distress, who are risking their lives to cross makes it a very emotional thing. Um, so that, I'd say, is the main difference between people who are seeing it on, in the media or social media reports. Uh, just the emotional connection that we make with the people because you can, you can hear panic in voices, you know, you can hear people really looking for help. People are fearing for their lives um, and you're trying to reassure them. So you, you create that sort of bond and you want to try and make it as, as an easy and a safer process as possible. So how can ordinary people help, especially the youth of Ireland? Um, there's a lot of ways that the youth of Ireland can help. I think one key point is any action. So to sit by and not do anything and just to talk about it isn't enough anymore. So any action, how big or how small it may be, is very, very important. Um, I think a very, very important aspect of this is education. So people need to be educated about what's happening. People need to be educated about why migrant routes are the way they are and the various different elements that make up that, whether it be um, people fleeing from... Uh, climate change, lack of water, you know, a, a lack of access to education, or whether they're fleeing for our persecution or discrimination, or either whether they're just coming to our Europe for uh, a better life or you know a better chance at, at education and life in general. Um, and I think young people in Europe and in Ireland have something that those people don't have, and it's really hard to try and imagine if we didn't have it, but for young people to just understand the situation, for young people to understand that they can do something about it is very important. How have these experiences affected your overall look, overlook on life? Um, I have to say that it's probably been a very uh, pivotal moment in my life. Um, I don't think I've ever done anything as real and as tangible as this. Um, and it's all, it's, all, it's all a relative scale. People have done far more uh, difficult things than, than I have done. But it's, again, it's, it's, it's personal, to, personal to me. I felt that I had an awareness of what was happening down there from a very professional sense from my role in the Naval Service. But having been down there, I got far more uh, personal and an emotional involvement on, on, on what's happening down there. There's a real crisis happening. Um, and there's, there's no doubt about it, it is happening. And inaction or uncoordinated action is only further worsening the problem. Um, I feel that I, I played a part in it and I continue to play a part in it by coming to things like this and, and, and trying to educate people and share my experience. And I think that that's the biggest takeaway that I have, that it's that experience has improved me as a person. It has given me a much better understanding of the world um, and it's given me a, a much greater understanding and, and uh, appreciation for, for what I have in life and for what other people don't have in life. Thank you for your time.